I'm hey folks, welcome, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be jumping ahead, further ahead than I really want to. And a lot of people, I'm going to jump in ahead of a lot of pundits on who will be the Democratic nominee for president in 2024. Do you have any ideas besides Mr. Biden? I, I think that the Democratic Party, the Democratic uh, vocals out there, if you will, will actually push him aside. I don't think at 80 years old and being reelected, probably what, at 82, maybe 83 when he starts his next term, maybe. You know, wisdom, it comes with years, right? I, I believe that totally. I think that as a society that we have left are aged behind with all the wisdom they carry with them, their trials and tribulations, the things that they have learned. In his case, I don't think so. And as far as Trump goes on the Republican side, I don't think so. Now, I have a few of my uh, thoughts when it comes to who will be the nominee for the Democratic side and for the Republican side. I don't think, I don't think on the Republican side, there's a strong, if DeSantis gets in, it, it might be too overpowering for Trump. I think Trump's got a lot of baggage. People are tired of his stick. Okay. And I just don't think that people are going to go around twice with it. Even his staunchest reporters, I mean, supporters, I should say reporters. Maybe that's a good thing are, are going to wane from his, you know, the, the days of kissing babies and these grand spectacles of arenas and these type of project yourself out in public, you know, as far as rallies and, and nonstop, let's hit every state bus tours. I think that's a thing of the past because we have social media. We have extremely fast internet as far as people making their, their, points of view. And I don't think that he's going to carry any weight anymore. I, I just don't. I think it, it's going to be short lived and uh, everybody knows what he's going to say, but he no, knows what he's going to do. And he's not so proactive as DeSantis. Let's, uh, let's jump into a couple articles that uh, kind of awaken me a little bit to the diversity on the Democratic side. So let's jump into that. Okay, so this comes from the AP, and they're saying Biden 2024, most Democrats say no thank you, an AP NORC poll. So we're looking at uh, this poll is from the Associated Press and the Center for Public Affairs and Research, and it shows that 37 percent of Democrats say they want him to seek a second term. Now that's down, that's down from 52% in the weeks before his last midterm election. Okay. So that's, that's quite a drop. I mean, we're, we're talking about a sizable drop. And, you know, as this article, you know, goes on to say Biden's trumpet, trumpeted everything um, that he's done in the legislature. Now listen, I don't, think for a fast New York minute. Do they even use that anymore? I don't, I've never heard it in years that he makes any kind of policy at all. I, I don't think he can, I, I think he projects himself as this person, but I don't think his brain catches up to his mouth or what the, the last thought he had. Okay. So I think the people behind him like him there because they can actually present policy and use him as this person up on stage there to do their bidding for him. And if something goes wrong, you know, they can throw him under the rug, so to speak. But like you say, his age is a liability, right? I, I think that has to do with his age is a liability. Uh, he loses his focus with people. He's caught coughing. Look, at he's caught coughing. That's from the AP. He's caught coughing. His gat, which, you know, I, I think I always tell people it looks like he's always walking, uh, in his diapers falling down, like my two year old grandson, his gaffes and, uh, and a possibility of someone younger, someone 
better suited, somebody with more of a flair that would attract people to motivate them to get out and do something uh, for the for the party. And I don't think he he ha- he does. I mean, I don't think you can go to another uh, election cycle and be in the basement. I just I don't think that's going to he's going to somebody's going to have to be out there making their voice known and with him stumbling like people have a just like Trump. People are tired of the old ego, just like Biden. They're tired of him stumbling. He can't read a line. He's always like, da, 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 da. you know, he's stuttering all the time. And I can't stand listening to him. I can't stand listening to Trump either. Let's see. Yeah, let's go down a 41% approval of how Biden's handling his job. As president, the polls show similar ratings at the end of last year. Uh, they see a majority of Democrats uh, still approve the job Biden's doing. And yet, appreciated re-election campaign has slipped despite his electoral track record. Electoral track record. Only twenty-two percent of U.S. adults overall say he should be run again. Twenty-two percent down from twenty. You know what? I don't think anybody in America or the world wants this guy to run again. He's not looked up to by any other country. He's he's. You know, behind the the scenes, are making fun of him constantly, uh, just like they did Trump. And some of these people and uh, leaders in other countries do it openly. We've seen them videos. Now, I think that if Biden does become the nominee, Trump or DeSantis will 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 beat him. There's no question about that. Unless there's some fishy stuff going on with Trump or or DeSantis, I don't I don't know. If anybody would want him to run again, I sh- sure the lot of people in there, the re- that realm of people that are pulling the string, sure they want, they would rather have him than somebody that's more vocal and wouldn't put up with their crap. You know what I mean? Put different people that they took their poll from and asked the questions. Now this guy, he's 76 and he voted for Trump and he says the same thing I did. Uh, Biden is merely doing the bidding of his aides. And we all see that. I mean, he, whether it's his wife or his handlers, he's not really, uh, all the way there, if you know what I mean. And they understand that. I mean, if you had a group of people that were making policy and you had a guy like this and you gave him the instructions to do this, it'd be better for him to do it than have somebody that wouldn't be willing to listen to you that would want to make their own decision. That would want to put uh, policies that they thought would be better f- for America or what they they would think would be better anyway. So this is what I got to thinking. I thought, who would I think would be better in the Democratic Party than Joe Biden? So I just pulled this up and a few names came to my thought process, process and I just... These are the top runners, right? Nobody's going to vote for Mrs. Harris, okay? Nobody is. I don't care. She will not be. Able, she dropped out of the whole deal last time in the 2020 election. She dropped out. Who's going to Who's gonna get behind? She can't. She's cackling all the time. She talks to everybody like they're second graders. Nobody's going to deal with that. She She can't lead. She. I, I just, no. It's just not going to happen. Now, Mayor Pete, with the bungle that he's done with the whole transportation industry, uh, administration, all the deals with the airlines going down around the Christmas time. And, uh, what, what was the last one? I don't know. Maybe Mayor, he, do, he doesn't have, he doesn't have it. You know what I mean? He doesn't have that overwhelming power. He's just, he'll run maybe. Nobody's gonna, there's not enough people. In the United States, that would back him. I mean, he's just out on the fringe. Okay. Now let's pass Gretchen for a second and we'll go to Gavin. Okay. Now, Gavin, a lot of women think that he's good looking. I don't know if the, it works in California, but I don't know if people, let's say Wisconsin, Ohio, Indiana, uh, maybe some people in Pennsylvania, obviously out the deep south won't vote for him, but. Minnesota probably will. Uh, you'll get New York, 
But some of these other states that are borderline, I don't think they're going to go for that, that craziness. Okay. People want somebody that's mellow. They want somebody uh, mellow, meaning that they don't want to come up with some great kooky plans about dismantling everything. Right. They don't, they don't want any of that. And, um, Amy, I don't think so. Amy doesn't even have a chance. She might, no. And Bernie, Bernie's going to make waves again. He looks too old for majority of people. He has a cult following. People like that socialistic type planning. I mean, he's put a lot of things in in motion that a lot of these, like Biden's doing and his people, they, they agree with that. But they can't have Bernie doing what he's doing. There's no way that they're going to allow him to run the country. There's just no way because he's too forceful. He's not very appealing to a lot of mainstream, even some of the moderate type people. He's just not. He's too way over the top, even though a lot of these things that he uh, endorses have been pushed in. But people aren't ready to jump into the whole socialist program. I don't know, 10 or 20 years, they may, but it'll bring somebody else. Now, I'm looking, Gretchen, I'm not a huge Gretchen supporter. I, I don't, I mean, she she's her own person, right? She's very likable. She's very uh, robust. And she gets to the point, a lot of people like her. She has charisma. She can debate fairly well. Uh, she needs some help, I think, with that area. I'm sure that if people want to push her in that position, and uh, she's a woman, obviously. Well, I don't know what they consider, whatever. <laughs> what is a woman, right? But I, I think that this is the person who will be the nominee for the Democratic Party to run against Trump or DeSantis. And I think if Trump is the nominee for the Republicans, she will beat him. She will. Just on the fear shack that, that she's younger, she's more vibrant, and she's pleasant to the eyes. She's not going to make a lot of waves like Trump. She'll do her business, but she might piss off a lot of these people that are policy, their inter- their handlers for Biden. She won't, she'll put her people, she's a very progressive individual, but I don't think she's going to allow other people to tell her what to do. She's got, she's her own person. If DeSantis runs, I, I, I think that the majority, she might carry a lot of the women vote, the younger women vote that might lift her over the top at this point. I think it's kind of a toss. I think DeSantis will carry every realm of the Republican Party, whether uh, they're they're outside looking in, the, the right wingers, um, the regular old time Ronald Reagan Republicans, maybe a lot of uh, moderates that don't want to see a progressive in the White House anymore. Is I, I would say it'd be neck and neck all the way down. I mean, it'd be just maybe a few hundred thousand votes in one favor or the other. I really think it'd be a close. I would like to see it myself. I don't want to see Trump or Biden again, ever. Okay. Just fade off. You know, this is what's concerning to me. And maybe you feel the same way. Hey, whatever I'm talking about, throw it in the comments what you guys think. But I think these people that are older in their 80s, late 70s, they need to retire like most of Americans do, right? They need to. You ever notice that all the politicians or billionaires, they're just They're going to take it to their grave, what they're doing, right? We got the Bernies, we got Pelosi's, we got McConnell's, and I mean, you name it. I mean, we got these old guys, which I, I, like I said at the start, I do like the wisdom, but they could do it in a different way, right? They could have a YouTube channel, share their wisdom, what experience in life they have. Instead of listening to these guys like Andrew Tate or some of these other guys that are young, that haven't even experienced a level of, you know, situations in life to build on, right? Their foundation is one or two blocks high. It's not a full building like you'd find in a, in a Trump or, um, some of these other guys. Uh, what's the other guy that I can't think of his name? The investor guy. What's his name? Anyways, put that in the, if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So that's what I'm thinking. I don't know why these guys don't go off and, and, do a hobby, maybe get into woodworking, uh, go fishing, whatever these people do, men or women. I, I'm a, I'm a male. So I would think, Hey, I'm going to go fishing, go up to the cabin, do a little woodworking and, and 
finish my life out doing that. But these guys want to carry their power trip into their 90s and 100s. I don't know. But tell me what you guys think. Is there a possibility we might see a big change up in both sides of the parties? And who's going to run? Who's not? Is it going to stay the same? Is it going to be Trump or the Biden? Okay. Yeah. So let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments below. What do you, who do you think? I mean, we're, are we talking about the same Trump? Or are we talking about the same Biden? Are we going to get a new mix in there? Maybe a DeSantis, maybe uh, Biden, maybe uh, Gretchen Whit- Whitmer or Trump or DeSantis. I mean, are we going to mix it up? Or are we going to keep with the, with the same 2020 redo? What do you guys think? I'd appreciate you leaving a comment below. Give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I'd appreciate that. And also share this on your Twitter account and follow me on the Twitter. I'd appreciate that. And when this video comes out, if you have subscribed, hit the bell. It'll give you instant notifications of this next video that comes out. I appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye now.